Hey, this is Dan Trockman, back to show you what, what, what is it like here in this case for a student to log into Moodle, submit an assignment, and thus the teacher go in, assess that assignment, and provide feedback for the student. So it looks like this. I'm logged in as a student. My name is Music Test Student, as you can see here. And my courses that I'm enrolled with in at the Blake School are all here. And the course that I'm enrolled in is called the Generic Moodle Course at the Blake School. And you can see immediately upon logging in, um, there's some information here for me because I have the upcoming events um, block on my page. Um, it says here that the light bulb tracking spreadsheet turn in here and it says um, that it's due on July 25th at 4.30 and today's July 23rd. The other thing I could have done here as a student is to look at my calendar and you can see it, it highlights today. That's today. And there's um, a course event thus the, the salmon color here. Um, here and if I highlight over it, it shows in here the light bulb tracking spreadsheet turn in here. Um, because I'm uh, a, a student and I want to be efficient with my time, instead of having to go find it on the Moodle page, I can simply click on the link. And kind of simply click on the link. Okay. I, I got close there. I can simply click on the link. <laughs> There is more than one way to do it. Um, and I'd like to make a submission. So it says, I have not attempted it. It's not been graded. It's due here. And this is the time I have left to do it. And as prescribed in class, please audit your household for the lighting as we described. And, and began to do in class. Turn it in here. Turn it in here, as indicated. So I'm going to add the submission and file submission. Of course, I can just drag and drop as a student, which of course I'm going to do. So it's right here. And I'm going to drag it. I'm going to drop it. You can watch it upload. It says it's good. Click that. Yeah, that's the one I want to use. And hit Save Changes. I have now submitted um, this to my teacher. And I can make some comments. I really liked finding every bulb in my house. I did not know we had that many. My parents are interested in finding out what we can save. So this is just one of those places that um, you can begin to um, have a dialogue uh, between the student and the teacher. Save comment. Okay. And I can then submit the assignment. Because I, as a teacher, said it was submittable one time for grading, it does provide some feedback that one assignment, once the assignment is submitted, you will not be able to make changes. Submitted, continue, and it just simply brings me back to um, the class. Okay, so on the teacher's end of thing, here we are as the teacher. I'm going to go back into the um, um, generic Moodle course and if I were to click on the assignment you can see now that there is one participant with one submitted assignment and one still needs grading and we can view the submission and we can see here that it has uh, been submitted um, there is a little bit of uh, information here for the teacher it says uh, by the way how many at a time and uh, you could have all or or a few. Um, who submitted it? Okay. Um, when they submitted it? What the name of the file is? So I'm going to want to go look at that. And look at that. There's a comment there. So I can take a look at that comment and I can read it. Oh, cool. Well, that's nice to know that that um, student said that. And uh, I can I can add a comment back. I am um, excited to hear that. Let your parents know that you will make a complete and accurate assessment of their potential savings and how much CO2 
they can reduce. So I, as the teacher, have had this little chat, and maybe that's even a place to be able to begin to save those things and uh, show peop uh, parents during um, conferences. That's always good. Um, here is the assignment itself. I better go look at it if I'm going to give it um, a grade. When we look here, we see, oh, look, they got all the rooms of their house. It shows the rooms, how many bulbs, the type, the estimated hours per week that it's running, the watts, the cost for the electricity um, uh, per bulb, the cost of electricity for that group, how much it costs per week to run, all those great things. And for the year, that family pays $646 and six or seven cents for their electricity. Um, so this is everything that I asked the student to do. It's great work. Now I can go back here and um, I, can, I can give it a grade. So I click on the little pencil saying it's, it's grading time. I could have looked at it here as well. I could have made my comments in here. So there's a quick grade area. This is the more expansive one out of 20. The student did absolutely everything they were supposed to do and some more. I saw that they began to do that. Great work. This is So I gave them a little bit of feedback, and off it goes. Save changes. And the student, um, at, at that point, uh, could go back into the assignment also, clicking it in the calendar or on the page itself. And you can the student can see that it had been submitted, it had been graded, and there's uh, feedback. They can read the comments as they were. And they can go down here and they can see that they got 20 out of 20 and that the teacher wrote great work, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it closes that loop and everybody is happy. That's it. That's how you um, uh, set an assignment. So whether it's a video, whether it's an offline assignment, whether it's audio you're submitting, whether it's drawing on a diagram that you were asked to do, um, et cetera, all those types of assignments are now under one roof. And the process is the same for all of them. Good luck. Enjoy.